Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, Sleepyhead. You could call it the anti-Red Bull. Sleepyhead is a new relaxation drink launched this summer out of Chuck Hammond's Lakeview apartment, and it's making a local splash in what is a relatively new market. Hammond, a former insurance broker, and his business partner, paralegal Eli Galeta, came up with the idea a few years ago while living in London and suffering too many sleepless nights. And we're basically counting the number of hours that we probably waste trying to fall asleep at night. And I, I'm the type of person I hate wasting time, as is my business partner. And so we're like, hey, you know what? They should come up with something that helps people go to sleep at night. We kind of thought about it a little more. And we're like, why don't we come up with it? Bayswater Beverages, named after their London neighborhood, was born. For the past few years, they have developed their business plan, done market research, and tested more than 50 samples of Sleepyhead until they found the flavor they were looking for. Our trial and error part, if you will, was, was, was twofold. Number one was the active ingredients as to what do we want to put in this thing. Um, so we were trying it. I mean, everything that's in our drink, I've been a guinea pig for, and I've been trying it and, and, and different combinations on myself to make sure that they worked. And then the other one was um, the flavor of going back and forth. Uh, we actually hired a, a flavor company to help us with develop the true taste of Sleepyhead itself. The drink has ingredients thought to be natural sleep aids, such as melatonin and valerian root, among other things. Hammond started hawking it in July and already has 60 customers, including big chains like 7-Eleven and little stores like Milk and More in Lincoln Park. He uh, came in, he said, try this product out. People seem to love it and uh, from just keeps on going from there on. Just keep on reordering, reordering, reordering week after week. And uh, this product just sells on its own. People just uh, tend to draw to it. Already, Hammond and Galeta have had to revise their business plan. They've blown away their conservative sales goals over the past few months by triple-digit percentages and are forecast to grow to $270,000 by next July. Our first order of Sleepy Head, I guess, was a big batch. We're looking to already start placing the order for the next one already, uh, which we didn't think we were going to be done with till the end of the year. We want to make sure we always have it on hand because it's, it's picking up. The relaxation drink market as a whole could generate about a half billion dollars in sales this year, according to some in the industry. It's still a far cry from the energy drink market, which is about five billion dollars in sales. And Sleepyhead is up against some leaders in the industry like Dreamwater and iChill. But Hammond says its edge is that it can be served cold or hot at bedtime as he prefers it. Yeah, I'm actually meeting with someone tomorrow. For Hammond, the goal over the next few years is to continue to build the brand and perhaps attract the attention of a big beverage company. That's what we're working towards, is to kind of get it all over the country. Um, and the you know, potential exit strategy for us might be to maybe someday get a call from another large beverage company and maybe get bought out. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. But you know, I think first things first, we got to build a brand. we got to spread it um, and, and, and just grow the company right now. Hammond and Galeta are planning to work on a low-calorie version of Sleepyhead as well as other flavors. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, be sure to check out this week's print edition of Cranes or ChicagoBusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.